morning everyone welcome back to a new vlog i'm just about to head out the door and go and get my hair done i honestly don't know what i'm gonna do i'm in two minds because i kind of want to go a little bit blonder but at the same time i feel like i've kind of put my hair through the ringer over the past few years with like dyeing it copper and then going back to blonde then i'm like i want to give it a break from the bleach but I'm just gonna see what my hairdressers say because I really do, I do particularly like having like these money pieces around the face, but then I also like it a little bit more lived in. I'm so undecided, I'm honestly overthinking it, like it's just a hair color, but I love going to the hairdressers and changing up my hair, but I'm also thinking that like, I just wanna be a bit more natural for a little bit, so we will see. Anyway, I guess this is kind of like the first thing for my birthday preparation because it's actually my 25th birthday tomorrow. I don't know why it doesn't feel like it's tomorrow. I think because I'm kind of celebrating it towards the end of the week, but tomorrow brayden has got the day off work, so we'll spend the day together and it's just gonna be such a nice week. We've got some really fun plans. I'm heading in to the city on Thursday night for Mamma Mia the Musical and Jesse, Maddie and I are staying in the city and then on the weekend I'm actually going out for bottomless brunch and karaoke with a big bunch of my friends. So I wanted to start off the vlog and bring you guys along for the week because it's going to be a really fun one. I genuinely can't believe I'm turning 25. Like, I don't know, I think I'll say that every single year for the rest of my life. I'll be like, I can't believe I'm this age, but seriously, like 25, like how did we get here? guys it's actually future ella i've filmed the whole vlog of this week i've had my birthday which you guys will see in the vlog later on but i just wanted to jump in now to do a quick little white fox haul because they've still got their end of financial year sale going on by the time this video goes up so as always you can use my discount code ellawf and that will give you 30 percent off my dress that i wore for my birthday is from white fox i've had lots of questions about it on instagram actually so just in case you're wondering, it's from White Fox, like majority of my wardrobe, as you know. They're a longtime partner of mine, and I absolutely love working with White Fox, and I'm just always so grateful to be able to share with you the clothes I really love. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing these like little integrations in the videos or the dedicated hauls. And if you do want to pick up anything, you can always use my discount code, but I'll also link the pieces that I've picked up down below. And I also try to write my sizes as well, because I know sometimes it can be hard to figure out sizes. So yeah, usually I'm around like a medium, I'd say a size 10, just in case that helps. But anyway, let's get into the haul and then we'll get back to the vlog. Okay, so let's start off with this top. I don't know if you could see in the previous clips, but this is the top that I wore to the hairdressers. It's so cute. I love how it kind of comes down in a little V shape. So it looks really nice with low waisted jeans, but it just has this lace detailing along the top, which just looks so nice and feminine. You can definitely get away with wearing a bra with this as well, just because there are like thicker straps. I love myself a little white top. This is just a really nice staple, I think, for both summer and winter. Obviously, I wore it the other day in winter in Australia, but I'm definitely going to be packing this for my trip away as well. I'm not sure why I just didn't put this top on with these pants to begin with, but I've just paired it with these new linen pants. They're in this like kind of oatmeal color and I got them in both this color, black and khaki as well, just some staples and they fit really nicely. They're a really nice height as you can see, but they also kind of are a bit more snug around the bum. At first I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should size up, but I actually think that it gives me like a little bit of shape at the back. I don't feel like it's like a full on wedgie. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable, but it definitely does like hug around the back and then flare out at the bottom. We've got little pockets down here. I just think there's so many ways that you can style these. They almost look more dressy like suit pants, but at the same time, they're like a linen fabric. So yeah, you could definitely dress them up or down. Guys, I just did the try on for the black and khaki pants and I was like, why do these ones feel a bit more loose than the oat ones? Anyway, I just realized I ordered a small in the oat shade and then a medium in the black and khaki, which is why these ones feel a little bit looser. So yeah, hopefully you could see a bit of a difference depending on if you want to size down or do your actual size. Moving on to some dresses. This is so stunning. Like this color is so nice. So I decided to pick it up in the black as well. It's just this satin slip dress, which just fits really, really comfortably. It kind of like cinches in a little bit around the waist and then just drapes down at the bottom. It's like a full length dress and then 
as you can see we have some lace detailing around here as well it does have a zipper so it's super easy to get in and out of I love like the little low scoop back I could have actually worn this dress to my birthday because I was going for like a pink theme but I ended up wearing another stunning one that I'll share with you guys in a moment However, I absolutely love this and I'll definitely be taking it away to Europe with me. So this dress is what I wore to my birthday when I went out with my friends that you guys will see later on in the vlog. But it's this really, really pretty pink floral dress. It's got bits of pink and orange in it and I just love this color scheme. I think like the one strap detail is so cute. And then as you can see, we've got a cut out here and then you can tighten it so that it kind of scrunches up around the waist and just... Yeah, makes it look a little bit more cinched in. And as you can see from the overlay footage, it almost looks a bit like a kimono at the bottom. Like it opens up, which I had to be cautious of when like the wind hit, but it was totally fine. And I felt really, really comfortable in this. It's that silky satin material again, and it just is such a pretty dress. I feel like if you're going away or if you have a special occasion, this is a really, really nice thing to wear. This dress is another one I was considering wearing on the weekend. It is so pretty and so flattering. I love how the fact that it has like a little like hole to it kind of just like kind of supports everything a little bit better, the fact that you can kind of tighten this. And then these little off the shoulder sleeves are super cute. I love the pattern, the corset kind of detailing that's built into the dress and it just fits really nicely. It's obviously quite fitted at the top, but the bottom part of the dress isn't completely snug. Anyway, I just think it is so, so pretty. Imagine this with some heels going to sunset, yeah, I really love it. This dress is so fun and a little bit different. It's like a corset dress. And as you can see, there's a little bow here, which you can actually tighten to really cinch it in around your waist. All of this detailing is just so nice. I'll come up closer so you can see the top, but as you can see, there's a little bit of lace and then it is like a short mini dress with some lace down the bottom. The fabric is quite stretchy, but it is a little bit shorter. However, you can like adjust the straps if you want it to sit a little bit lower, but this is just such a nice dress. I absolutely love it. I've got another white dress to share with you guys, but this one I feel like it's a little bit more casual. I feel like this is like a picnic dress and it's just so feminine. I love the way that this looks at the top with like the little frills. It's just really, really pretty. And then Brayden actually <laughs> did these up for me and I thought it was a bit cute. He did the bows at the very back and set it on top of my shoulders. And I was like, you know what? That's like a cute little detail because when you turn around, you can see the bows, but yeah, you just have to undo the buttons, to pop this on. And then I also picked up another dress. It's not the exact same, but it's in another color. And it's a similar vibe. So let's try that on. So this dress is another really comfy, casual one that I feel like is perfect for the beach, a picnic, just an amazing summer dress. And I can't wait to wear this. It feels really, really nice. Actually, this fabric is really, really soft. This taupey color is super pretty and I don't have a dress like this. So this is gonna be a really nice one to add into my wardrobe. Next up, we have this set, which is like the perfect throw over on top of your swimmers, but you can also just wear the shorts and the shirt head together like I've done now. You can easily style it up and like tuck one side in or both sides and just play around with it to make it how you like it. But you could also just wear it open over some swimmers. This is a bit different to a normal white shirt as well though because it's got some floral embroidery in it, which I think is such a pretty detail. And you could definitely mix and match this as well and wear the shorts with something else. This next outfit that I've created is kind of a similar vibe to the last one, but this shirt is a plain white one and it's quite like a thick material. I'm not sure if you guys can tell that, but it's very like sturdy and not like stiff, but it's definitely not like a light linen kind of feel. Anyway, I've paired it with some like oatmeal linen shorts, which are super cute. You could definitely mix and match these with so many things. Even I could pair them with that like corset that I had on earlier with those oatmeal pants. I'm not sure if I love the combo of this top and these shorts together. I love them both separately, but I'm just, I'm not sure if I've styled them quite right but they both feel like really high quality, especially because they're quite thick. And the final pieces I have to share with you guys are these long sleeved corsets. This is like the perfect going out top in winter since you do have some sleeves. I've got this both in brown and black and I wore the black version out for my brother's birthday and I felt really comfortable in it. I think it's so pretty. I love like the lace detailing that's built into the corset and then the sleeves 
a mesh so it's definitely not too hot but it does give you like a little bit of coverage and then the back is nice and low which just looks really pretty yeah I really really like this top so I had to get it in the black as well so anyway that's going to conclude this little whole section of the vlog if you do end up picking up anything from white fox don't forget to use my discount code lwf to get 30 percent off site-wide and then once the sale ends on the 30th of june my code will just revert back to being 15 percent off but i'll leave all of the info in the description box and let's get back to the vlog it's my birthday we've just woken up and i said that the first thing that i wanted to do on my birthday is go for a run we just came out here and we have some presents. So I thought I'd open them up first and then we'll go for our run. I'm excited to see. <laughs> We've got ourselves a coffee and I'm getting ready so we can head to Manly, I think. Somewhere in North Sydney, I think we're gonna go out for brunch since time is getting away from us. It's actually 10 o'clock now. So yeah, we're gonna be quite hungry. I think we might get some like cash browns or something from Macca's on the way just as like a little snack and then we'll have a big brunch. But that run was really, really nice. I just feel like you always feel amazing afterwards, which is why I wanted to do that on my birthday. I was just like, you just get such a good buzz afterwards. And I'm wanting to try and do runs like twice a week in the lead up to doing the Sutherland to surf. So that's a run that they do in the Shire every single year. And I'm doing it with my family this year. It's about 11K. Oops, I just dropped my phone on the floor. And yeah, I've never ran that far before. The most I can run is about 5K. And today we did about four and a half ish but honestly it's so funny well now it's funny but Brayden and I honestly we shouldn't do sport together let me just say that Brayden and I don't get in many arguments whatsoever at all we're both relatively chill people I would say but take us snowboarding together take us running together for some reason we end up getting in an argument yeah I obviously don't like being told what to do apparently when I'm doing something physical like exercise and <laughs> Brayden he's trying to help me but like by him like giving me constructive criticism I get like really frustrated because I'm just like you know trying to do my thing anyway it's quite funny that like exercise brings out that side of us but afterwards we feel amazing it was a really good run but yeah we're just getting ready now having my coffee with Mr Paisley's which is one of our favorite little coffee shops also I realized I haven't even like properly chatted to you guys since going to the hairdressers yesterday. So this is the hair, so much blonder. I absolutely love it though. It's funny, like when you haven't done a certain shade of blonde for a while, like you forget what you look like with it. And I was like, oh, do I suit like a lighter blonde? I'm not sure, but I really do like it. I say that after I get my hair done every time though. I'm like, yep, this is my favorite, but I, I think I'm gonna stick to this shade for a little while. I do need to go back though another time and get a cut because we didn't have time to do a cut yesterday, so I'm going to do that just to improve the hair health. But they did like a treatment and everything, which I think has done wonders for it already. But I just love Bixie. Like, they're the best. If you guys are local in the Shire or just like from Sydney in general and you're looking for a good hairdressers, I recommend them so, so much. My mom and my sister both go to Bixie as well. And they're just all amazing. They look after you really well. And so cool yesterday, actually. I met a girl called Caitlin at the hair salon who watches my videos. She was sitting next to me and she was like, oh, I hope you don't mind me saying, but I've been watching you on YouTube and Disney for like a really long time. So yeah, that is a really long time because I stopped working with Disney like, was it like five years ago now? So yeah, I was like, that is really surreal. And she said, yeah, this is my first time coming to Bixie and I've come here because of you. So I was like, oh, that's really, really cool. And we had a really nice chat and I don't know it's just it's really surreal meeting people who have watched my videos and also have watched for so long it's really really cool but that's why i enjoy doing this so much though because it allows me to connect with like like-minded people 
all over the world. It's so cool documenting my life on the internet, one for myself to watch back, but it's cool that some of you guys have kept up with it along the way, whether you've continued to watch all these years or you know, you've stopped and come back or whatever. It's just, it's so cool. And it blows my mind that I've been vlogging my birthday ever since I was 16 and now I'm 25. Brayden is currently setting up everything for my desk. I recently got a new desk, if you guys didn't know, and Brayden has like a really nice desk set up himself. And he was like, okay, for your birthday, I really want to get you some nice things to organize your desk. So he couldn't wait and he's already gone no, ahead and unboxed everything. I know, like, I know you're getting ready. I'm like, oh. I'm just going to do something for my mom. It's your birthday, mate. I'll get it all set up. Oh. And at least you can use it like straight away. Yeah. I feel like you'd you, ask me anyways. You love this stuff though as well. It's fun for you, surely. It's fun seeing you like get used out of these things. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys what it looks like, but the desk looks really organized now. Brayden's just in the office at the moment, setting up the laptop. And do you want to lean back so we can see? We've got the desk pad, which looks really nice. The mouse and the... Keyboard. I was like, what's that called again? And then over here we have like a laptop stand, but it's like a bit of a different one because you can just like fold your laptop and slot it in there so it doesn't take up too much room on your desk, which is really nice. That is right. Yeah. This is the birthday fit. I absolutely love these tights. They're from White Fox. It's my first time wearing them. They're just really, really comfortable. But yeah, just got a long sleeve on under this and then a puffer and we're ready to go. We've just arrived at our destination and then this song comes on. This is my song. Dancing in the moonlight. We just went for the nicest lunch at this place called Norma's, which is like a deli in, I guess like, the mall, like the shopping area, it's kind of tucked away. Yeah, it was like Greek themed or something. Yeah, it was like European, Greek. I wasn't sure if it was Italian or Greek because they had like, like a yeah, they had an area that they sold like pasta and stuff. But it was just European anyway. I got the club sandwich, which was huge. I've only eaten half of it, and I'm taking away the other half because I was like, I don't want to waste that. Brayden got full on roast chicken. It was huge, hey. Yeah, was massive. It? Like massive, and it was so nice. And next door, they had these cookies. I'll show you guys in a moment, but Brayden was talking to one of his colleagues at work and apparently they're really nice, the cookies. So we'll like, have to get one. Honestly, I feel like this is the ideal birthday, just going around and getting food. We've had hash browns, lunch, cookies. Oh, that hot chocolate. We haven't even talked about the hot chocolate. So, you know, you don't need to go to Paris. Just come to Norma's and try the hot chocolate there because it's so good. They had like literal like thick, melted chocolate hot chocolate and then you have it with the whipped cream i've been saying to brayden that before we go to europe sorry about the lighting by the way um i've been saying that i really want to ease myself into eating a bit more dairy because i really want to be able to have like gelato and stuff over there but i genuinely don't like the taste of milk and so i don't have milk in my coffee and i haven't for years just because i don't like the taste of it so gen generally i don't really have a lot of dairy and i feel like my stomach's not really used to it because I, I don't have it so I'm trying to have it like a little bit more and that hot chocolate was just just milk and chocolate and cream so that's probably just the most intense more. thing that I could have but anyway I feel really good I actually feel great however we are balancing it and I've got a vegan cookie <laughs> I literally was like to Brayden and I was like as much as I like would love to try the other flavors I was like maybe I should get the vegan one because we don't want to overload my stomach. We do not. Anyway, we're going for a drink now at the Manly Wharf Hotel. I'm just driving past it now. And I've seen so many people going here lately for bottomless brunch just because I've been doing so much research into bottomless brunch. And um, yeah, this is like one of the places that kept popping up a lot because I think I've already said in the vlog, but we're going to bottomless brunch on Saturday. So in the lead up to like booking my birthday, I was seeing what was around. And a lot of people go to the Manly one and get the margaritas and stuff there like they've got these like tequilas in little bottles it looks really cute so naturally me being influenced i'm really curious now and since we're manly i was like let's go for a drink but you've done so good all right we're back in the car on to the cookie i need to have a big bite 
Wow, it's so thick, look at that. I don't know if you need to eat this all in one sitting, you know what I mean? Just oh like... yeah, you do. Oh yeah, we do? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Guys, we're out for dinner now, and look who I'm joined with. If you've been watching for a while, you might remember my cousin Arthur. It's been a while since you've been on the vlog. 2016, I think it was. I, I know. First, first of you, but yeah. he's back visiting in Australia, and you're staying in the city at the moment, hey? Yeah. It's been good? It's been great. CBD. I love yeah. being a tourist. I'm, I'm I just want you forever. to stay. Yeah. Huh? It's been yeah. so, comment if so you think nice. I move to Sydney. Oh, I, I'll just make fake accounts and comment. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's been the best. And yeah. Arthur's girlfriend is so nice as well. We've all gone along so well. Anyway, yeah, Lily and Zane are here. What you do today? Lily, Hi. Zane, hey. <laughs> We've come to this place called Papa Jay's, but Arthur just gave me the nicest birthday present. He got me a cake and strawberries and cream. It literally smells incredible. Look at this. It looks so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna close this before um before any accidents happen. everyone it's a new day good morning it is three oh, yeah. <laughs> it's now the next day i'm with maddie and jesse we're heading Yay. to the city we're going to mamma mia staying at the pullman and i wanted to whip out the camera because i've got my little present yes. it's an engagement ring <gasps> oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> Woo, the silver collective <gasps> Oh, this is so pretty. That is Oh my gosh. It's bracelet. Oh, it's a bracelet. Just it's something so to nice. accessorize tonight. Oh, I love that. So I thought I'd get a little oh, bracelet. Because the bracelet just zhuzhes everything, I feel. I like. love so it. So cute. Oh. <gasps> oh. Sorry, I, I totally <laughs> just like skimmed that and then was like, what's this? No, That's your oh ugly gosh. one. That's so cute. <gasps> At the Coastal Italian Glebe. Oh my god, what a vibe. We're going to an Italian cooking that is class. So, and so it's, 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 fun. I'm pretty sure it's, it's just us three. Thank you, girls. Oh my god, you're the best. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Margarita pizza, vodka pasta, and a dairy free vodka pasta, which is so good. Have you ever had it like at a restaurant? Amazing. And focaccia bread. This bread's actually really nice. We've got some dessert. I've got salted caramel, two scoops, and it's sorbet. And then we've got apple, salted caramel, mandarin, salted caramel. Looks incredible. How nice is this? Though? This is so nice. Look at the view we just woke up to. Let's see if the camera will focus. It's so nice. And then if you stand by the window, you can see like center point tower and everything as well it's like a really nice city view wait i really want to do a recap on the vlog of last night yes. because we haven't even let you guys know on how mamma mia went but it was so good. so good everyone's so talented i know multiple times jesse and i looked over each other and we're like we're gonna cry it's so good they're just so talented i know but um they told us we couldn't sing no i turned to you i was like this is really tough this is really disappointing <laughs> no it's yeah. just like you want to just be like 
singing along, not loudly, but just want to be bopping along. And you can't. <laughs> I feel like I don't know if you knew you were doing it, but I did hear you singing a few times. Did I? Yeah, you did a couple of times. I could hear you. I'm like, <laughs> Over and I was like, that's why. That's why you just, like, you just no was too very quietly. Yeah, very quietly. But I could, like, I could hear you. You had great pitch. So. <laughs> well, maybe it's maybe it's you'd be like, also for <laughs> that the wedding is it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, how dare they ask us not to sing when Amazon? How Dare they? I know, but to be fair, at the end they did do like three different songs, and we could stand up and sing, and that was like a vibe. That yeah. was so fun. Was they played really Waterloo, fun. Dancing Queen. Is that it? There was another one. I can't remember. I can't remember. But it was so good. It was actually really interesting as well because it wasn't like a complete reenactment of the movie. Like they, did you notice they used the songs in different orders? Yes, yeah. like and in different that. scenarios. Different scenarios, like. Mm. And but it they still, also it still yeah. made sense. It still it did make sense. sense. I was like, wow. <laughs> did Abba like think about this when they wrote their songs? Like they've made them very adaptable. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. But they've also brought in songs either from the second movie or just like other Abba songs into yeah. the show. Yeah. There was show, like one was, one which we didn't um, recognize at all where they were uh, in bed. Yes, it was. She was having a nightmare. The first scene of the I second didn't know that song which though. was Oh my gosh, I do yeah, know, I it. know it. That's I have never heard that in my life. That's not in the movie. I think I just know it. No, it's not no. in the movie. Under attack. That's the song. Under attack. Oh. Yeah, that's the song I'd never yeah. heard of before from Abba. They played Under Attack. But anyway, if you guys get the opportunity to go to Mum Me, I highly recommend it. It was really, really so good. So good. We talk about the casting. Sorry, I'm talking and talking talking. Um the casting was spot on. Yeah. Like but they did it in Australian accent. It was very Australian. Yeah, I was so not was expecting like, that. Holly Bloom and Bogan came out and we were shocked. So <laughs> to see. Lucky Bogan. At first I was like, oh no. Like she accidentally let an Aussie word slip and then, no, it was meant to be Aussie. <laughs> yeah. Then they're like, Sophie, how are you? <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh oh no, you invited your dad to the wedding. To the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so good. I think like having the Aussie accent gave it a different humour. It was hilarious. It was just like, like, and I'm from Marrickville. And yeah. I was like, okay. okay. So <laughs> anyway, I highly recommend it. I've never had breakfast in the room before, and this has just exceeded my expectations. It looks amazing. Isn't that so cool? Like that avocado. That's like a mountain. I swear that's two avocados. Right, We're gonna pop our robes on. on and then like hop on the bed and just oh, enjoy the breakfast. Yeah, nice. Wow, this is all mine? Yeah. Cornflakes, fruit, I've got a oh, cappuccino, no. juice. Wow, yogurt pot, salumi. Hmm? No, 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 I, I got continental. We all got continental. We all got continental. Oh, no. 